understand. But back in slave time, they were selling slaves, human beings, like an auction block, like they would have used car lot. There's a buyer come forth through the country and he'd buy them up and go sell them and make money on them just like you would on a used car or something. Never was God's program. God made man, man made slaves. One's not to rule over the other, but to live together in unity and peace. And this man come to an old plantation. He, he wants to say, how many slaves you got? He said, a hundred or more. He's looking them over. And he happened to notice there was one slave among those people. The slaves were sad. The Boers of Africa had caught the slaves, brought them over here and made and sold them. And they know they'd never go back to the homeland. They know they were here for the rest of their life. They never see their children again. They never see Papa Mama. They were here for all the time and they were sad and they'd even carry whips and whip them to make them work. And so they had to make them work because they didn't want to work. They were just all broke down. This slave buyer looked over there and he found among these slaves there was one young fella. They didn't have to whip him. Chest up, chin up, right on the job. And the broker said to the owner of the slave, said, I want to buy that slave. He said, he's not for sale. He said, he seems to be different from the other slaves. He said, he is. He said, what makes the difference? Is he a boss over the rest of them? He said, no, no, just a slave. He said, maybe you feed him different than you do the rest of them. He said, no, he eats in a galley with the rest of the slaves. He said, what makes him so much different? He said, I always wondered that myself till I found out. Over in the homeland in Africa, where he come from, his father is the king of the tribe. And regardless of where he's at, he still knows he's the son of a king. And he acts like one. Hallelujah. If you're a daughter of a king, then don't act like the world. If you're a son of a king, don't act like the world. We are, we know that we are sons and daughters of God. Though we're here in a dark world of death and sorrow, yet we know where our heritage is. We are sons and daughters of a king. Not a king, but the king. Let's act like it.